Uh, today we've got a unique problem that we need to make a big frame with mortises and tenons but with obviously no machinery uh, so we're going to do that with portable power tools so the tools that we need to do this to start with are a full set of chisels we need some wood cramped maybe a tool belt panel saw claw hammer combination square marking gauge cordless drill driver tape measure and a good industrial size router in the router we're going to need um, a 50 mil long 12 mil bit which will do the job for us okay so that's the tools there's probably a few more um, the way this works is we started off by making a jig and this jig will do all of your tenons so if I just take that apart for now the first thing you need to do is get a nice flat board and on the underside just put yourself a piece of timber anything you've got lying about and that just enables you to slot that inside your board. work mate and tighten that up <coughs> and now that's nice and stable okay the second thing is get your material and you need to off cuts of that material at the same height it doesn't matter what they are but they've got to be flush there okay then if you calculate the width of your material then you need those two off cuts to be parallel on the table so that that slides in between it's a good idea to leave a slight gap between there so you're not knocking it with a hammer and forcing it through okay so the next thing to do once you've screwed them onto your flat board is get a nice straight piece of planed up timber to use as your straight edge get your combination square make sure that that timber is exactly straight with that and you can be as fussy as you want with that because it really matters okay so once you've determined where your cutter is going to come into your parallel pieces because the fence of the router slides on there and that's the distance between the fence and the center of your cutter then that's your shoulder for your tenon so all you need to do is that's your reference point slide your timber up to wherever you've marked it put that there determine the depth now this one is about 90 mil timber so the recommendation is about a third of the thickness of the timber for your tenon so we've got I think it's finished about 28 mil which is fine so we've set the depth of the cutter down to there and when we cut this tenon out with the router I'm just going down about 8 mil a time I don't want to try and take out the whole thing out at once so just go down 8 mil take it all out another 8 mil keep going until you reach your max reach your maximum depth set your depth stop on your router that side's done take that out turn it round and do the same on the other side make sure that when you do that you use your G cramp and cramp that down so it can't move and that basically is your tenon done and ready to receive the mortise the mortise Again, is marked out and that needs to be a nice fit for that tenon doesn't want to be too tight because this is a big frame and we don't want to be struggling getting this together but it needs to be a nice comfortable fit so to set your mortise up define where your mortise starts and finishes so we've got one there that's one stage behind where we are now so that's the start that's the finish on this occasion we've used um, this is about a 28 mil tenon so we've got a 25 mil auger bit this bit has a nice little screw lead on it at the front so that will that will literally carry you through the timber no effort so you're going to drill everything you can to drill out as much material as you can in there and then once you've done that stage you can get your router <coughs> and this is this needs carefully setting up with the side fence so that if you put the side fence on this side then the edge of your cutter and this is just 
this isn't plugged in by the way so we're fine that determines the opposite side of your tenon so you're literally pushing it that way to get the opposite side if you tried to get this side with the fence on the edge of the timber there's a danger that you could come this way and that would ruin your tenon you take it out of there so the idea is you're always pushing that way so that you can't go beyond there because this fence would stop you so always cut left to right because the cutter cuts clockwise so you would take that again you've already drilled pre-drilled that out most of the material's gone take that down about eight mil take it across lift that up and then just carry on going down another eight mil you can tell what depth you're doing if you use this as a reference so if you turn that there i can tell that there's about another 10 mil to go i can push that down and you could set that down to whatever maximum depth you want in this case it's a 50 mil tenon once you've done that side take that off put that on the other way round and start again and start from that end and work this way and as you can see that produces a very nice machined mortise that will suit your tenon so we've got the timber sections laid out on the floor on the workshop rod which is in the house and we need to transfer we've got the tenons here but these are on an angle so when we made the jig we've literally the only difference is instead of having a square we've worked out that angle off the drawing we've changed that and the tenons cut an angled tenon so we're going to take the lines straight off the drawing so that's that one now we only put a line in the center because that's the mark i use for a tenon okay so that's literally starts there finishes there but as you can tell that is going to be 90 degrees to the timber so that edge there okay so although it's at an angle that's going to still be square to that which means that that tenon on this side will be straight like that I've done that light because we need to rub this off afterwards it's not going to be painted this one is going to be angled that way so for that I need a sliding bevel okay so for this one although it's straight in line with this section we're working off that shoulder as our reference point for this so we'll set the bevel to that that's going to be the angle of that tenon and then we can transfer that onto this line we'll take that up to the top it's slightly awkward because we've got a very small bull nose on that top edge there okay that's a reference point slide that up to there and then very lightly let's put a line on there these are gonna to have to be removed afterwards so that is the shape of that tenon coming into this timber so same section again same process we're going to mark the center along there we're going to do a series of drill holes to take out most of the material but obviously these drill holes that's going to go all the way down all the way down and then when we get to there we're going to have to step that up and just take out as much material as we can with the auger bit and then the rest can be done with the router we also need to transfer these two lines now to the other side because these are going to be through tenons again i just marked the middle of the section and that is all we need okay so we've got all the tenons cut now and the mortises and the next stage is to lay the frame down onto the workshop rod and just individually check that each mortise and tenon go together and it's just no fit before we try and assemble the whole thing 
Okay, so for this particular joint, we're going to use um, a drawbore tenon. So to do this, I have a description for the complete job in a separate video. So I'll put a link to that in the uh, description for this video. But just for the purposes of this to explain what we're doing, we we'll drill a hole through either side of the mortise. I haven't come through all the way because I don't want the dowel to show on the outside of the frame. So we then, once we've drilled the hole, we put the tenon into back into the mortise. We mark the tenon with a pencil so we can tell where the hole relates. Take the tenon out and then we drill another hole a couple of mil further back towards the shoulder of the tenon. And then when you put that back in, of course the holes don't line up. You use a dowel with a slight bevel on the front edge. You knock the dowel all the way through and the effect is that it pulls the tenon further in towards the shoulder and clamps the whole thing together. Okay, so there's the finished um, hole drilled into the tenon, slightly offset from the one drilled in the frame. We're applying PVA glue because uh, they're a nice snug fit, these tenons, so they don't need any gap filling and the PVA will give us just a bit more time to square up the frame later on. There's quite a few joints in this frame. I think there's 14 tenons. So we're just giving ourselves a bit of time for adjustment. Um, that hole is approximately two mil further towards that shoulder than it's showing on the mortise. So once that goes together and we drive the dowel in, that'll pull up to a nice snug fit. The dowels are going in now. They're only actually visible from the inside because it's end grain and we don't want that weathering on the outside. They're hardwood and they're pulling the shoulders up nice and snug. There's no way we could get a sash cramp on this frame. It's above five meters high. Okay, so the frame's now all assembled with all the dowels in place. We've added a diagonal brace to keep the frame square while we move it and the brace across the doorway at the bottom to keep that parallel. All the horns on the corners have been cut off and the frame's ready to go in. 